I lead at EC3, juniors training eighth graders in the Hardin County Schools to become the leaders of tomorrow. Doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Get out of your way to make someone else's day. Work harder than anyone else. Protect your integrity and be kind. I lead at EC3. going to learn a lot today and we want you to take all this back to your home school and use it and teach all your friends about it that way we can get a whole group of leaders okay so you're going to learn about leadership you're going to learn about personality traits you're going to learn about teamwork and communication okay so on your table there's a pretest. we're going to give you a few minutes to fill it out try your best it is not for a grade so no pressure We're going to go over the answer key. If you got any wrong, don't freak out. It's fine. That's the whole purpose of today is you're going to learn about all the new things that's on that paper. So the first question was, being a good listener is a good leadership role. Is that true or false? True. True? Good job. Second question, being bossy is a good leadership quality. False. Great. Working with others is a good leadership quality. True. Yes. So, do you think you are a leader? Yes. yes. Great. Okay. Okay. Great. 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 The benefits of being a reliable group member does not, does not include doing the project last day. True. Okay. A positive attitude does not have an effect on productivity. Oh. Okay. Communication skills. Communicating with others is important. True. What are two types of communication? Verbal and nonverbal. Yep, there you go. There is only one type of communication. False. You use some form of communication each day. Yeah. <laughs> um, which of the following is an example of communication? A, eye, con eye contact, B, speaking, C, sign language, D, all of the above. Yep. Teamwork. What are the C <coughs> three C's of communication? Communication, confidence, and care. No. Close. Anyone else? It's a good answer, though. Yeah, good answer. It's communication, coordination, and cooperation. You don't have to change it. It's okay. <laughs> Which is not an example of good teamwork? A. Encourage those around you. B. Talking over your teammates. C. Learn from others. D. Includes all teammates. B. There you go. Learning to work as a team now will help you A. In high school. B. In college. C. As a working adult. D. All of the above. Oh. There you go. Kid president wants us to A. Make the world awesome. B. Sit on the couch. C. C. Do a cartwheel. D. Drink a lot of water. Okay. Today, we're going to start with leadership skills. I promise you, you're not going to be sitting on these tables all day. We're going to get up, we're going to get active, you're going to learn, you're going to actually be involved in everything. So don't think we're going to sit here and lecture you, that's boring, we don't like it either. So get excited, don't be weird around the people at your table, no one cares, no one's watching you here. Be friendly, be nice, and have fun. Okay? Okay. Yay. Okay, let's get this started. Okay, so for our icebreaker, so you guys can get to know each other just a little bit better, we're going to, one, tell your group your name, two, your favorite thing to do outside of school, and three, come up with a whole group name. So something that you guys all agree upon and something that is school appropriate. Okay, we will start with table one. Can y'all tell us y'all's group name? Rubber Ducks. Rubber Ducks? I like it. I like that. Okay, how about table two? Oh, uh, What's y'all's group name? Solo Cups. Solo Cups. Solo Cups. Okay, table three. Table three. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> table four. <laughs> okay, table five. Jelly Bean is sure weird. I can't read it. Good job. It can 
Okay, now we're going to go into our first little activity. So, one of the leaders is going to come and pass you back a post-it note. On this post-it note, you're going to write down someone that is a leader to you in your life and some of the qualities that they possess that you think is very important as to why they're a leader. Who is your leader? Um, My friend is a leader because he's loud and helps anybody with editing. Okay. Skyler. Um, I would say because he likes to get things done. Okay, those are all good. I go table, there are cups, and in these cups there are papers one through four. Everyone at your table will grab a little slip of paper out of the cups and name your number. Everybody got your number? Yes. Okay, Alyssa's going to explain to you what your numbers mean and how you're going to use it later in the presentation. So, some skills and qualities of a leader that we're going to talk about today more in depth in our activities, but also just from what you've already done with like the ice and stuff, is honesty, confidence, you have to be a delegate, and you have to have commitment. You, can, you don't have to be strong in every part of it, but to be a good leader, that's just the beginning of it. Another like, skill you need to be like, to be a leader is patience, encouraging, empathy, and reliability. Like, you can't um, not show up to something you said you were going to do and call yourself a leader. Also, it's okay not to be perfect. Not that it's perfect. Just try your best, always. So, for our game, we're going to show you how you're going to put these skills and qualities into play. Nevea here will be our number one for today. So if you're number ones, watch her first. Everyone needs to know how to do this, but this is what you're going to be doing first. You're going to get up with your group leaders, and they're going to walk you back to our mazes. And you are going to, one person will talk, and lead the blind through the maze. So we're going to show you how to do it. Take one big step forward. Start over. <laughs> Take one big step slightly to the left forward. Step over to your left once. Three more times. Right forward now. Go forward. Yep. Forward. Left. Forward. Forward. Left. Left. I'm going left. Left. Step forward. Anyone, congrats. There are different difficulties. You're going to hit every maze except for this one. All the mazes in the back you're going to do, and they get harder. You might start the hardest one, you might start the easiest one, but you want to do it as fast as you can and with the prize. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're done with your face. We're going to rotate around this way. So it's from here, go to the next one. If you finish, go ahead and move to the next maze. Do not skip any mazes, though. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
If you walk up the line, you have to start going by the way. That's okay. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we have some time stuff. Are y'all ready to find out? For Team Solo Cup, your total time was 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Rubber Ducks, you all had 3 minutes and 18 seconds. Table 4, you all had 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Team 3, you had 3 minutes and 15 seconds. And for Jellyfish Destroyers, you all had four minutes. Oh. Oh. Y'all have fun? Yeah. Okay. So we need anyone with a star and anyone the ta the winning table to come up here in a single bar line. Please do not trample us. And you'll get your prize. Okay, so while y'all are getting your prizes and talk about it, we just want to go over why this mattered and how it impacts you real quick. So the challenge is all about leadership. Um, it's helping lead someone through a maze. You are being very verbal, you're trying to tell them how to do something, and it's hard, especially when they can't see you and you're trying to communicate with them. It takes teamwork, it takes communication, your personalities have to be similar, that way they understand, and you have to be confident in yourself. Please take this back with you to your school, not the mazes, but take those characteristics, those qualities, those skills, and implement them in your school. Let everyone around you Find out how to do it. Teach someone. If someone doesn't know, step up. Don't be scared. Don't be embarrassed. Be you. I hope you have fun. This was leadership, and we all were great. So today we're going to talk about personality traits of a leader. Who's excited? Woo! Whoa! Let's go. Okay. You all have personality traits that would be passed out to you. Anyway. Um, you have four minutes to do this, and try not to look at the person next to you because this is all about you and who you are. We're just going to figure out which trait you fall under. Okay, so while we wait, who knows anything about a leader? Can you tell me some personality traits they know? Go ahead. Kind. Okay, kind. Kind leader is pretty strong. Okay, Reem, all you. Honest. Okay, valid. You want an honest leader. Skylar. Encouraging, that's a good one. And big words, Okay, Jenna. Responsible. Responsible, okay, so now you've all got your things. We're gonna start the timer and just answer the best of your ability. Okay, so if you go ahead and look, if you got mostly A's, that means you're a good communicator. Don't worry, we'll go over what each of these means. But if you're mostly B's, then that means you're a reliable group member, a good, pretty solid. A C is a positive outlook, and a D is a team player. Now, don't associate these letters with any grade. They're all equally important, and we need all of them for a group to function effectively. If you are an A, I need you to go to the table over there. If you're a B, I need you at that back table on the right. If you're a C, I need you at this table. And if you're a D, I need you at that table. So, what we're going to do is you're going to have four minutes to plan this out. And the goal is to have the tallest standing tower than any other groups. And we're not giving you any rules on how it has to be built. It's all about how you guys can figure this out and creatively problem solve. So, with the four minute timer, you're going to plan on the back of these little surveys. And it says no talking, but you can talk with your group. Ready and go. 
You can talk, guys. Responsible. You're always helping out others. You're lending your hand. You're going the extra mile, 
And being a team player is good because it would always lead to better problem solving and teamwork leads to a better problem. I think we all love learning. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what does this even mean besides I get to build the tallest tower? So you can optimize your capabilities as a leader by understanding your personal strengths as well as the strengths of those around you. And it's very important to respect what everyone brings to a group while also being unafraid to lead people to unlocking their full potential. Hopefully your newfound understanding of these different traits can help you with this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and play a game of telephone. You have your verbal communication and your nonverbal. For verbal, it's the use of your words through speaking and writing. An example would be talking to your friends or presenting, um, phone calls, directions, and teachings. The nonverbal would be without using the words written or spoken. That would be the eye contact, your touch, or your body language. Body language is a very important part of this. And the gestures you make as well as your facial expressions. Okay, we are gonna play another game called Poison Dart Rugby. So we're gonna get into two circles, and I'm gonna take two kids, and they're gonna go with Adriana. So we're gonna pick, while those two people are out of the room, I'm gonna pick two Poison Dart Rugby, and they are gonna stick their tongue out oh. at people around the circle. But those two people that went to Adriana, they don't know who the Poison Dart Rugby is. They're trying to keep it a secret. So the person in the middle has to try to guess who is sticking their tongue out. So if you look around and they, the person sticks their tongue out at you, you have to go like this, okay? We'll, we'll show you how to do it real fast. Okay. Okay. Adriana's in the middle. She has to try to get who the poison dart from. Okay. So Allie got her tongue stuck.
first it can help with problem solving and then it also leads to well like successful team and communication and then communication can encourage people and it can keep people from getting hurt effective communication skills um, eye contact you can ask questions your body language um, make sure to be quiet when others are talking uh, be clear when talking, that way people can understand you, and show empathy towards others. Effective listening skills consist of giving the speaker your undivided attention, providing feedback, using body language to show that you are engaged in listening to what they're saying, and withholding judgment. Question two, I usually, A, don't share my opinion with uh, opinion even though I have them, B, share my opinions in a demanding way, C, have opinions but do share them and become angry towards everyone involved, and D, have opinions and share them with others while being open. Number three. I feel that the opinions of ma others matter more than my own, that op my opinions matter more than opinions of others, that I will follow the opinions and ideas of others but talk badly about them behind their backs, and D, that my needs are important and so are the needs of others. Or, when walking into a crowded room, I want to hide my face, I don't mind pushing my way through the crowd, I may push someone out of my way and then blame it on someone else, or I smile and say hi to others and respect others' personal space. That's, yeah, other people's space. And lastly, five, I often ignore problems, cause problems, hide problems, or solve problems. If you most answered mostly A's, you are a connector communicator. If you answered mostly B's, you are a planner communicator. If you answered mostly C's, you are a mover communicator. If you answered mostly D's, you are a thinker communicator. And if you answered like a mix, then you are going to be a mix of the two communicators. Okay? So for the different type of communicators, a connector communicator is mostly known as personal and active. They communicate, they like to take time to relate to others and the talking. Often thought of as good listeners, connectors will try to establish good eye contact and be there for others as supportive friends. Connectors feel most comfortable in conversations if they feel they have made a meaningful connection so they may share personal aspects of their life. They feel an additional connection if the other person in turn shares something with similar, similar personal nature. Planner communicator communication. A planner communicator are purposeful and organized. When communicating, planners tend to be goal oriented. Generally, they uh, they initiate a conversation to get specifics so they can complete their responsibilities. They like to communicate things in a chronological order, step by step. If you interrupt planners while they are explaining something, they are likely to start off from the beginning and make sure they have missed a step. In turn, planners like others to finish their sentences or complete thoughts before switching subjects. The next one is a mover communicator. Mover communicators are active and straightforward. When communicating, they tend to be direct yet playful. 
They like to get to the point quickly and keep moving from there. Attracted by variety, new experiences, and fun, they tend to talk about adventurous, adventures, tell jokes, and share their accomplishments along the way. Movers are also notorious for moving around during conversations. They may pace, play with the rubber band, doodle, or even text on their cell phone while listening to others. The last kind of communicator is a, or not the last, but a thinker communicator is, uh, they are objective and strategic in communicating. Thinkers tend to think before they speak. They like to analyze what they have just heard, explore the many ways they could respond, and choose the reply that most accurately and clearly expresses their thoughts on the matter. Their goal is to obtain information so they can figure out, fix, improve, or invent something as a result. Okay, so raise your hand if you were mostly a communi or connector communicator. Okay, now raise your hand if you were a planner communicator. If you were a mover communicator. Um, if you were a thinker communicator. Okay, okay. What if you were a mix? Was anyone into your mix? Okay, so we're going to get into two circles with ten people again. And you're going to grab people's hands from around the circle, not the same person. And I think you all might know what the human knocking is. And you're basically going to try and untangle yourselves um, into an original circle. Thank <laughs> you. 